medalist at the Asian Championships. The 2019, her best senior result. Box to the world champs in Astana in 2016, got to the quarterfinals. A few years ago now, a silver medalist to the... मंदिर मस्जिद से टीआरपी की कमाई कर रहा है तो चलो हम वो लम्हा दिखाते हैं जिससे स्पोर्टिंग जनमास को खुशी के साथ गर्व भी होगा हमारा आज का पिक है वर्ल्ड जूनियर बॉक्सिंग चैंपियनशिप 2022 इंडियन गर्ल जरीन निखट फाइटिंग वियतनामी गर्ल चिपोंग इन रेड थाईलैंड निकट इंडिया इन द ब्लू स्टॉप दैट फ्रॉम चिपोंग Jab down to the body, through the right hand over the top, towards the head. Nice jab again there, just flipped up from the waist. Nikat, short with the one-two. The head up there, the tie fight. So left hand on the break almost there from Jit Hong. Both of them coming forward at the same time, just shut down that space. Short with the right hand, and she was almost made to pay there. Nikat Jit Pong though just couldn't quite reach with with her right. There's not much in this opening round. Good left hand, nice crunching right, followed it through there too from Nikat, and probably the more eye-catching shots have come from her. I would say that was a snappy. Closing seconds, and this has been tighter. This second round, Nikat hasn't been able to land as clean as she did in the first. Has done it a couple of times, but Jitpong has had her moments as well. Left hand there from Jitpong, right towards the end. And she feels that she's done enough in that second round. It was definitely a closer round. I might just shade the red corner there. But there wasn't a lot in it. If it's split, she needs to get three of the judges' scores to, to give herself a chance going into that third and final round. It's something we've seen keep that distance a little bit better than she did in the first. Right hand there did get through, I think, from Nikat, who's landed enough in this final round and this final minute of the final round to see her over the line here, I would say, because with those three drawn cards, she needs just one of them. She's got two in her back pocket already. And celebrations... At the end there, both celebrating the win, both look nice and confident, but just to remind you of the scenario going into that final round, two judges had Nick out 20 points to 18 ahead, so she'll have kept those two cards definitely, there's no way that Jit Pong has won that final round 10-8. So then we have three scores of 19-19, now she needed to win all of those, convert those into wins to get a 3-2 split victory, whereas Nick Cat needs one of them. And I would be surprised, let's put it that way, if she doesn't get one of them. So Nick Hatt gets it, and she gets it by unanimous decision too. So that was 10 nines across the board there in her favour in that third and final round. And that was her round, that final round. The final minute of it was where she took it away from her opponent. So she is a gold medalist, and you can just see from the celebrations. I love the celebrations because you see what it means. We had the Olympic Games last year, of course, but this is a, a new cycle. So fighters coming through who haven't got that kind of experience necessarily and we haven't had a women's world championship since 2019 it's been a long break we all know what's happened in the meantime and these fighters are just loving getting this stage and getting the opportunity to compete and the tears are coming there but it was a good performance a really good performance and india get their first gold of this world championships
एंड लास्ट दिस इज द प्राउडेस्ट डे फॉर इंडियन स्पोर्ट अपना भी दिन आएगा नहीं आ गया carried off shoulder high well that's two cracking finals we've had already next up we've got the featherweights then we'll have a